I made a stop motion music video and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about a music video I made using stop motion animation. As some of you may or may not know, I launched a solo project back in 2017 called Galeriet, or Galleriet, if you're saying it in English, and I released my first album under that moniker in 2017, and that was called Romantic Gestures. And on that album, there was one song in Swedish called Alting är som vanligt, which means roughly everything is as usual. Now the title is intentionally ironic in a way because I wrote that song during a time in my life where a lot of things were not as usual or as they had been previously. There were also several people in my life who are really dear to me who were going through some very difficult stuff at the time when I wrote the song. So their experiences of their hardships and just where my mind was at when I was writing the song it had me ruminating on change and growing pains and that longing sometimes to be told that everything is as usual when nothing feels like it's as usual. The song ended up being written in Swedish and I'm sure that has everything to do with the fact that Swedish is my native language and it's the most intimate to me. It's the only song on the album that's in Swedish so it means a lot to me. As much as the song contains some darker elements and some melancholy, there's still joy and beauty and bittersweetness in there as well. So when I was noodling on what kind of music video to make, I took all that into account. I've been a huge fan of stop motion ever since I was a little kid. I remember growing up and seeing stop motion animation children's shows. Some of them would be quite old and I was so drawn to that aesthetic. And my love for stop motion animation only grew with age and I started to get into the Brothers Quay and Jan Svankmaja and all these other brilliant stop motion animation artists. I had toyed around with making some really simple stop motion videos just using my laptop camera back in my early 20s and using myself as the subject, but I'd always been really curious to try shooting something with puppets and clay and building my own set. And the more I thought about the music video for Alting Ashovonli, the more stop motion started coming to mind. The intimate aesthetic of handmade puppets and clay and a self-built set felt really fitting for the intimacy of the song. So I came up with this idea for a stop motion music video and the video would be broken down into a series of vignettes, almost like separate little scenes that were all encapsulating different aspects of the emotion and the feeling of the song. Then I went knee deep into tutorials. Where did I watch the tutorials? On YouTube, of course. Looking at my storyboard, I knew I had a certain amount of characters I had to create, but I also wanted to leave a lot of room for improvisation as I went along. For example, I knew I was gonna go to Ventura to look at their thrift stores, and I thought that if I found something there that sparked interest or inspired me in some way, I wanted to be able to throw that into the video and leave that a little open-ended as I went along. And I did find some things at the thrift stores in Ventura. I love going through the tchotchke sections with all the different random items and knickknacks, and I came across this doll. She was the perfect size and I loved the look of her, so she ended up making it into the music video. I also found this guy, this classic crying mime, who was also the perfect size and I loved him. So he made it into the music video as well. I kind of have a thing for these dolls. I have a few of them. That's probably creepy, but it's the truth. And then I built some characters from scratch as well, like this one. The skeleton for this one is metal wire, and then I added some padding and some gauze to beef up the limbs, and the hands and the head are old Barbie doll parts. For this one, I ended up incorporating a tip that I saw in one of the tutorials. The tip was to put these little metal inserts into the bottom of the feet that small screws can then screw into, which helps the puppet to stand. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I also created some pieces out of clay, which I really enjoyed working with. And one of the characters was this small naked male. I also made this larger naked female. She's actually wearing a Barbie jacket that goes way back in my family. I'm pretty confident my big sister used to play with that jacket for her Barbies. And I certainly played with a lot for my Barbies 
and I always loved that jacket, so I'm glad I found a way to weasel it into the music video. Now, I used a lot of different kinds of items in this music video, which is part of the charm with stop motion. For me, you can employ the most unremarkable objects and you can blow life into them. I used rocks that I found out in the dirt, I used plastic trees, I used old marbles I had lying around, all kinds of stuff. I also used a lot of clay and I really enjoyed working with the clay a lot. The clay I used was just an affordable kind I found at Michael's. It's by Craft Smart and it's called Plastalina Modeling Clay and I, it was perfect for what I needed, so I recommend it if you need some affordable clay. As for the set, I knew I wanted it all to be set in one room. I was just starting out, so I knew I didn't want to bite off more than I could chew, so one room for the entire video felt like the right fit for me. The type of wood this is is called Oriented Strand Board and I have a bit of a love for this type of wood. It's very cheap. I buy it at the Home Depot, and I've used it in a lot of other projects I've built. I sawed a hole in the back wall so I would be able to create more depth and dynamic to the music video. That way I could have things happening both in the room and also outside the window. And then I drilled a bunch of holes. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's a bunch of holes drilled in a kind of grid pattern in the floor. And that ties back into what I was saying about this guy earlier, because because of these holes, I am able to place the feet on top of the holes and then put screws in from below, and that way the puppet can stand. Now, this puppet can actually stand on its own, but if you want a shot where one leg is up, you know, and it's moving or something, then you're not gonna be able to have the puppet stand up on its own. So those screws that go into the feet really make a big difference. For this puppet, I designed her in a way that the skeleton wire of her legs would extend past the end of the clay, and that way I could just insert these wires into the holes from above. I loved working with stop motion animation. I have to say it was such a joy. It really aligns with my personality in a lot of different ways. It's pretty tedious work. I mean, it's very anal. You're moving one little piece of the body and then you're taking a photo and then moving one little piece and you have to keep going on and on like that just to create a short snippet of footage. But I really enjoyed seeing things come to life in that way. Now, I shot this music video using I stop motion, which worked really well, but since then, Dragon Frame has been made accessible to me, and Dragon Frame is the software for stop motion animation, so I'm really looking forward to taking on another project and exploring that new software. At the beginning of this music video, there's a brief interlude that isn't stop motion, and I was doing that for all the music videos from this album. The interlude for this particular music video is a short snippet of home video of me when I'm around five or so in Sweden, and I'm trying to feed a magpie that my family was caring for at that time. We came upon that magpie and it was injured and we took it in and we nursed it back to health. Over that footage, you also hear my voice slightly affected saying R, E, D, D, which spells out the Swedish word red or afraid. My mother told me that was actually one of the first words that I said. I believe I was very little and she was holding me and we were in the laundry room and the dryer started kicking into full spin cycle and it made this very loud noise and it scared me and I said, red. And because this song and music video touch on so many things in relation to childhood and growing pains and fear and struggles, and change, it felt only fitting to put that word in the interlude for the video and have it be a little nod to that story of me in my childhood. Now that you've seen this, I hope you'll take a few minutes to watch the music video for Alting Ashen Van Lit in its entirety. I'll put the link to that in the description below. I'm really proud of this music video, and as I mentioned, I'm definitely hoping to do some more work in stop motion animation. And that's something I made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.